These are the steps I want you to accomplish today in class for your fancy SketchUp maze. Select Create New Simple Template Feet and Inches to begin. Now let's give our maze a file name and save it to our SketchUp folder. Now, I really want a green landscape instead of this dreary gray one. If you're going for a dreary theme, then you're welcome to leave this, but I'm going to go into my styles menu on the left and look through the default styles to find one with green grass. The best way to start off our maze is to zoom way out and draw a nice big rectangle that looks like a good size maze compared to our person. Remember, the fastest way to zoom out is to use your scroll wheel on your mouse or use your two fingers moving up or down on the trackpad together. Pause here if you need a second to get caught up. This next step is really important. We are going to select our paint tool and pick a material to paint our maze walls. Trust me, you want to do this step now. If you wait until you have an intricate design, it's going to take you so much longer to select and paint all of your faces. Pause here to complete this step. Now I'm going to orbit my view so that I have a bird's eye view of this rectangle. The easiest way to do this is to click down on the scroll wheel of the mouse and bring the mouse towards me. Using the theme and drawing that you brainstormed, we are now going to use the line or freehand tools to draw the inner part of the maze. I'm going to start with a general outline of the shape I'm trying to create. I'm going to make sure that my line always says that I'm drawing on the face and I'm going to return back to where I started to close the shape. If you do it right, the line should end up thin. If you're seeing thicker, dark lines, there's something wrong with your shape and it's not fully closed or not flat on the surface. Select the undo arrow to try the shape again, making sure that it's closed and on the face. Using the offset tool, I can make a similar shape that is a tad bigger or smaller. This will be a walking path. If I right click on the path and choose erase, I can get a better idea where the path is. But we need ways of getting inside too. So I'm going to continue with my work of the line or freehand tools to create more paths that fit my theme.
If you make a mistake, the best thing to do is find the undo button. Now sometimes it's hard to see what kind of theme your picture is without different colors. If you want to color some of these parts differently, you may do so. This is a tricky task today and may take you a while, so keep working at it and redoing it until you think it looks decent. If strange things happen, it's probably because your lines are not being drawn on the face. Beware when it says it's on the blue axis or anything else, because it might mean that the line is not flat on the ground. Pause here and keep working, and return at the end of class to see how to turn in your progress. If you're ready with your inside design, I'll now show you how to export an image file to submit to Canvas to show me your progress so far. Let's press Save first. Now select the hamburger menu in the upper left, then select Export PNG. When you get this screen, make sure you're happy with how it will look and press the blue Export as PNG button. It may take a moment, but we'll download an image file into your downloads folder. Return to the Canvas assignment and press Submit Assignment. Browse your Downloads folder and select your image from today. Press the final Submit Assignment button. Great work today! I'll let you know in the Canvas comments if I see any major problems before you continue.